हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी माउर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जुओलॉजी श्री सावरिया जी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज मनफिया चित्तौड़गढ़ टुडे माय टॉपिक इज एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रोनिक मेम्ब्रेन्स एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रोनिक मेम्ब्रेन्स आर दोज मेम्ब्रेन्स व्हिच आर फॉर्म्ड आउटसाइड द एम्ब्रियो एंड दे आर फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम द ट्रोफोब्लास्ट ट्रोफोब्लास्ट इज प्रोटेक्टिव एंड न्यूट्रेटिव इन फंक्शन and it forms extra embryonic membranes and it also helps in the uh, formation of placenta that is placentation so uh, extra embryonic membrane are those membranes which do not form any part of the embryo proper but performs various functions and assist in the development of the embryo these extra embryonic membranes are found only in amniotes that is reptiles birds and mammals there are mainly four types of extra embryonic membrane first is yolk sac second is amniote third is allantois and fourth is chorion so here you can see all these four layers so this is a chorion here amnion allantois and this is yolk sac so first i am going to describe yolk sac yolk sac is formed of splanchnopleura so it is formed of splanchnopleura Planchnopleura is inner endoderm and outer mesoderm. That is, is planchnic mesoderm. So, yolk sac is formed of planchnic mesoderm and endoderm. Yolk sac is well developed in reptiles, birds, and protozoans, which have polylysethyl eggs. What are the functions of yolk sac it surrounds the yolk and its main function is digestion that's why it is also regarded as extra embryonic gut it absorbs dissolved yolk and passes it to the developing embryo so it helps in digestion of yolk and transfer the digested material to the developing embryo it is also regarded as the first respiratory organ in the embryo and yolk sac also form yolk sac placenta in the marsupials yolk sac is vestigial in human beings but well developed in reptiles birds protozoans which have polylysethyl eggs now second is amnion it is in the most fold of somatopleura somatopleura is inner ectoderm and outer mesoderm that is ectoderm and somatic mesoderm and amnion is present about the embryo this is embryo and here you can see amnion this is a fold of amnion Uh, between the amnion and the embryo there is a amniotic fluid so here you can see this is a embryo and here amnion so between this embryo and amnion there is a amniotic fluid uh, this amniotic fluid is secreted by the embryo as well as amnion and this amnion protects the embryo while amniotic fluid acts as a shock absorber and also prevents desiccation of embryo so its functions are protection of embryo from any mechanical injury and desiccation amniotic fluid 
which is present between the amnion and embryo acts as a shock absorber. Amnion also protect embryo from sudden temperature changes. Now third is allantois. Allantois is formed of planklo fever and it is developed from the hind gut of the embryo. So here you can say uh, allantois it is here. So it is formed of splanklo fever. Splanklo fever means splanklic mesoderm and the endoderm. So splanklic mesoderm and endoderm. So um, uh, allantois is formed of splanklo fever. Sorry, splanklo fever. So uh, it is well developed in amniotes which have polylysated eggs. That is reptiles birds and prototherians. Allantois stores uh, the nitrogenous waste of the embryo and act as a extra embryonic kidney. In most of the eutherians it gets combined with a chorion and form allantochorion. Allantochorion takes part in the placenta formation. That is a allantoic placenta. Allantois is reduced in human being. Now chorion here it is a chorion. Chorion is outermost fold of somatofluor. Somatofluor means ectoderm and the somatic mesoderm. It surrounds the Embryo. Uh, it, in reptiles, birds, and prototherians, uh, a chorion gets combined with the allantois and form allantochorion and act as an extra embryonic lung because it helps in exchange of gases. But in primates, uh, including human beings, only chorion forms the placenta. That is a chorionic placenta. But in other eutherians, allantochorions form allantoic placenta. So here you can see this is a chorion, here amnion, here allantois, and this is a yolk sac. So these are the four extra amnionic membranes. What is the difference between amniotes and anamniotes? So amniotes are the vertebrate group whose axe contains extra embryonic membranes for protecting the embryo. And amniotes lay eggs on the land. Examples are reptiles, birds and mammals. Anamniotes are vertebrate group whose eggs do not contain extra embryonic membranes during embryonic development. They lay egg in the water. Example of anamniotes are fishes and amphibians. So this is about extra embryonic membranes. So, extra embryonic membranes are those membranes which do not form any part of the embryo proper but perform various functions which help in the development of embryo. And they are formed outside the embryo from the trophoblast. Trophoblast is the outer nutritive layer of blastocyst, which later forms embryonic membranes. Four Extra embryonic membranes are yolk sac, amnion, allantois, and the chorion. So yolk sac is formed of splanklopleur and it is well developed in reptiles, birds, and prototherians which have polylysatellites. 
and its main function is digestion and it also regarded as an extra embryonic gut in human being it is a vestige this is yolk sac then amnion here it's amnion it is outermost fold of somatopleia that is inner ectoderm and the outer mesoderm which is present above the embryo and between the amnion and uh, embryo there is amniotic fluid uh, which is secreted by both embryo and amnion and it protects the embryo and it acts as a shock absorber and prevents desiccation of embryo now third is allantois here allantois here you also can see allantois uh, it is a fold of splenoglobia and which is developed from the hind gut of the embryo it is well developed in amniotes with polylysethyl acts that is peptides birds and proteins and it act as a extra embryonic kidney because it is stores nitrogen waste in eutherians it get combines with the chorion and form allantochorion and takes part in placenta formation that is a allantoic placenta this type of placenta or this type of allantois is produced in human being now fourth is a chorion it is the outermost fold of somatopleia this is chorion this chorion so it is the outermost fold of somatopleia somatopleia means uh, extra inner ectoderm and the outer mesoderm and it in reptiles birds and prototherians it act uh, allantochorion or that is a mixture of there is a combination of chorion and allantois act as a extra embryonic lung and helps in the exchange of gases so this is about extra embryonic membranes this is the difference between amniotes and amn anamniotes vertebrates with amnion with the extra embryonic membranes are amniotes and the vertebrate group without extra embryonic membrane are anamniotes thank you